The trapping frame method partially incorporates elements of the method's queen caging and brood removal. To start the procedure, any empty but previously used brown comb is introduced in a so-called isolator. The queen has to be found in the colony, which is much easier if it is marked. The queen is transferred into the isolated comb, where a limited amount of brood will be raised. As it will be the only accessible brood for mites to reproduce, the comb acts like a trap for them. Then the isolator with the queen and the frame is placed centrally in the colony. It is necessary to make room in the hive for the isolator by removing one or two frames with dark, irregularly built or deformed combs. Nine days later, frame one is removed from the isolator and replaced by a second frame to which the queen is transferred. The isolator with frame two and the queen is returned to the hive while frame one is placed immediately next to it. Eighteen days after step one, frame one is removed from the hive together with the trapped mites. Frame 2 is removed from the isolator, and frame 3 is put in its place with the queen. The isolator, now with frame 3 and the queen, is returned to the hive, while frame 2 is placed next to it. Nine days later, or on day 27 after step 1, frame 2 is removed from the hive, frame 3 remains in the hive, while the queen is released. The isolator is removed from the hive and frames with built combs or wax foundations are introduced in its place. Nine days later, or on day 36 from step one, frame three is removed from the hive and checks are made whether the queen lays eggs normally and regularly. Unlike other methods, with this method the state of the honeybee colony is not disturbed so drastically. The queen can lay eggs without any interruptions, while the use of chemicals is ruled out. Mm -hmm.